read interference check report after you save uh, interference check report has the external HTML file and after you set your MEP openings configuration please go and use read interference check data button right here in the cut opening software after you will click here you will get a dialog block where all the notes will be written here as well you have to choose your configurations that you have set before so here you will find all the configurations that are possible for this interference check report reading so i will use default configurations that comes from our cut opening solution and after this you have to select HTML file from interference check report from Autodesk Revit. So I'm browsing for it. I find it, I'm opening it and and as you can see I get the report right here about missing configurations and uh, if you need you can go and add some additional configurations for different classifications like conduits like pipes um, like uh, ducts or cable trays so you can do that one by one uh, by adding missing settings for configuration and uh, after you will add something you are able to review configurations and you will see the red bubbles that will follow you to the places where new configurations were did so here you will see red lines the red numbers and that means that you have added something new to your configuration as well you can go to joining openings and to the interference check tabs after this all the configurations will be saved into the default configuration as well if it's needed you can add all of these and then review your own configuration so as you can see we have different ranges and different cut offsets so the cut offset come from the cut opening tool but if it's needed you can add your own and you can use that in the future work as well you can see what kind of elements are missing some configurations for the openings and you can just click on this button and see all the IDs of your elements. There is two possibilities to go further so you can go and click on the next button and you will insert the openings only for only for not excluded elements so that means these elements do not have configurations at all so our cut opening will never insert the openings for these elements then you will click on next if you will click on skip it will place openings for all elements uh, and excluded and not excluded elements from this report so let's try to click on next and you will find that we have such a dialog block and we have different configurations here so all the cut offsets opening shapes additional top and bottom offsets comes from the configuration as well you can review everything using configure grouping right here so we have uh, configure grouping by level as well by the type so i can go and check all the stuff for cable trays conduits ducts and pipes if it's needed you can add additional configurations for example if you need to add something like cut offset you will see that we have 50 cut offset we have zero cut offset we have 50 cut offset we have 50 and we have different cut offsets for such a pipes so here you can filter it and do whatever you want 
As well, you can go and group openings by hosts. So that means you will find what kind of hosts your MEP element meets. And here you will find the same stuff as before. But if you need, you can go and check everything in accordance to the MEP objects. Anytime you will be given the, the possibility to add new new settings for your openings and uh, you can do that one by one if it's needed. As well, you can try to change the value for this or for several, several of them. As well, I can not show the host, I can select them and I can change the value for all of them by one click. As well, if it's needed, I can select the column, as you can see. I can use filter by selected data, and it filtrates only these elements that I filtrated. As well, I can distinct value in a column. So I have all the values for additional top or, or bottom offsets, so I will use this one and I will filtrate only these ones as well I can remove all filters if it's needed I can go and sort by any parameters that are available on my on my table as well we have copy to clipboard possibility so I can take everything copy everything to clipboard and go to some external uh, Excel for example excel sheet and paste everything and uh, after this after we set all our configurations and we read the interference check data we have to save this data view as the xml file 